ならばテラパゴスの覚醒をもって必ずや奪い取るアメジオ私の血を受け継ぐ者として務めを果たせあなたの孫であることに私は誇りを持っています必ず力になってみせますおじいさま What's going on, trainers? The return of the mastermind of the explorers、uh, comes back once again. Amatheo's grandfather, Gibeon. Now, I don't know if you know, maybe, you know, after you've watched 50 plus episodes of a show,、uh, you know, your memory, like, you know, I can't remember what happened last year all too well sometimes. So it's like trying to keep thoughts straight. So for me, I, I had a big, like, like, Amatheo's grandpapa? Grandpappy? So I had a moment this episode of like, yo, grandfather Amatheo? So I don't know if you shared that moment with me in this episode, but I have been、uh, very interested because about 10 episodes ago, I think maybe or so, like a little while ago,、uh, yeah, about a couple of months ago, I feel like they introduced the head of the explorers and they introduced the shiny freaking Zygarde. Freaking cool. Immediately, just like how you know Giovanni in the old anime or in the original anime, he had a Needle Queen, and Needle Queen is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. So, with this one, I love Zygarde. I think Zygarde is such a cool, shiny Pokemon.、Uh, the, the, the shiny specifically, I've been hunting for a shiny Zygarde in、uh, Sword and Shield. You know how you guys can do the、um, what do they call it?、Uh, the, what is it? The, the, the raids. The raid dens, or whatever you can do, the raid dens in、uh, Sword and Shield. And I've been shiny hunting for Ho o h Lugia, and Zygarde for a minute now. And when I say a minute, I mean like the last like two or three years,、uh, and no luck yet. But regardless, the moment I saw that he had a shiny Zygarde, I was like, yo, that dude's legit. So I was really,、uh, really excited to see how awesome it was for him to appear once again this episode. but One of my critiques about this episode is well, let me say this. Let me take a step back before I critique. You know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be a little ranty this episode. So if you guys don't really like rants and stuff, hey, totally get it. It's sometimes my jam, sometimes not. It all depends on the topic. So what I'll say is 54, I was episode 54, I was very pleased with us getting back on track with the main story. And I don't not think that the. Kids entering the Orange Academy program, doing terastalization. I don't think that any of it is not the main story, but I would consider the main plot or kind of the, the, the driving force of this show to be t e r a p a g o s to be Lucius, and to be what the hell happened to them and all of that stuff. And you know, breaking down and, 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 and finding out the mystery of t e r a p a g o s and Lucius and. Uh, Requesa and all that. So that's what I think is like the main core story. You know, that's the Eternatus of the show to me. And that could be different to you, but that's what I kind of、uh, put down what the main plot of the show is.、Uh, of course, just like, you know, I'm referencing the Eternatus Sword and Shield. Just like Sword and Shield, the, the main plot for the MC is becoming the champion and beating Leon. But really, there's that extra, extra. Plot above it. So that's why I consider the main plot. So, episode 54, we got back on track with the main plot. And I love that for that. Because I was like, yes, let's get back with t e r a p i c o s Let's get back with Lucius. Let's get back with、uh, Liko,、uh, finding out her heritage, finding out her connection to Lucius and t e r a p i c o s and Arboliva and the only Pokemon there. Let's get her back on the hunt for Entei. Let's get her back on the hunt、uh, for Cleaver, right? Leave it to Cleaver. So, I'm excited for that.、Uh, so, If that's all you need to know, click off. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I'll see you episode 55. All right, for all those that want to stick around for the ranty part of it,、uh, here's, the, here's where my, my rant or my、uh, issue becomes with the episode is too convenient. So, out of the blue, right? Just pulling a hair out of his ass, Freed decides this episode, okay? Freed decides, you know what? I'm actually going to put some pedal to the metal. And this t e r a p i c o s t e n I'm actually going to really give my, my genius brain, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it to work and I'm going to go solve this t e r a p i c o s mystery, okay? So that's the first thing. He, he decides on a whim 
Okay, the ship's looking pretty good. You know what? Let's. I'm going to start going, and I'm, I need to find out what this Tropicals thing is. My professor brain is spiraling out. I need to find out this tropical. So that's the first thing, okay? So stay with me. First thing is out of the blue, he's like, I'm going to go and investigate this tropical stuff, okay? So he does, and he heads down to uh, a place where he used to work called Exceed, which I was like, okay, that's so dope that we get to find out where he worked before. He was like a scientist, you know, professor. He was in the lab and stuff, you know, find out stuff. So he goes down to this company, and he basically, you know, basically tells his old boss sorry for just not only quitting but just like dipping out uh his boss you know definitely has a lot of affinity and affection for him very long story short you know they have conversation and freed brings up you know he had called Liko, but hey did you see some purple mist stuff and Liko and roy were like yeah i did he's like, okay me too and that reminded him of some research that was going on at exceed so he asked his director boss, he's like, hey, this eternal blessing stuff, do you guys remember that project? He's like, yeah, I do. Uh, my, you know, my director, I, as a director, I have a lot of freedom, but then I'm also very limited on the company because I'm just the director. I'm not the owner, so I'm pretty limited. But, hey, here's your badge back. Go feel free to go investigate on your own. So they were investigating this thing called eternal blessing, and the project had basically been shut down. They didn't make any headway into this uh, eternal blessing uh, with this stone or the piece of a stone called Ricarium or Ricarium. Uh, however you want to say Ricarium. You know, I, I, I guess that it has like very uh, good uh, connotation or, or, or linkage to, you know, Rayquaza and stuff like that. So this project was shut down, okay? And Freed, is, he goes in and he begins investigating it. Well, here's where that convenience comes in is we know that Amatheo's grandpappy, a few episodes ago, like 10, 12, 15 episodes ago, whatever it was, had had mentioned, uh, you know, going to the promised land or whatever it was. Like, that's that's the explorer's goal is, I don't know if it's time travel, I don't know if it's teleportation, but they want to use this gem or this material to go to the promised land. Whatever that is, they want to go to the promised land. That's the explorer's goal is... Get Grandpapa to the promised land through this Rakarium, through this eternal blessing stone stuff. And this is what they're assuming Lucius did is Lucius said, hey, you, 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 my Pokemon, peace. I'm going to the promised land, heaven. You know, that's basically what we're assuming. So, Freed goes in and he goes in and essentially, you know, they get locked down and stuff. And through convenience of the show, we find out that... Uh, what's his name? Stiller? Stellar? Something like that? Uh, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Jesus. Uh, Stiller? Stellar? Uh, Spinner? Spinel. Spinal? Spinel? Something like that. That this dude, you know, he happened at the same time. He happened to also have gotten the jump. Same day, by the way. Not like a week or two weeks ago or something. This dude was in the building pretending to be a professor or lab rat or whatever the same day as Freed. So he could have been there weeks ahead, months ahead. But no, today, the same day that Freed got a hair up his ass to come and, and research, this is the same day Spinell went, hmm, you know what, I think today's the day. So he's there and he basically goes and he gets the Ricarium, Ricarium, the Eternal Blessing Stone, and he jacks it from Freed before he could. Uh, and now he's making off with it, and Amatheo and their group are going to, I guess, chase this sp spinal guy or whatever. And who knows what he wants to do with it? He's the he's the dude with the uh, with the psychic Pokemon who's been uh, fluffing this up from the beginning. And who knows if he's really going to, you know, take it to Grandpapa? Who knows if he's going to do something else with it? It's he's a anomaly, even from the explorer's point of view. So I was just like, you gotta be effing kidding me. So. Through convenience, he's going to be there to say... He, he was there like five minutes before this dude. And he's going to go and steal this from Freed. Uh, and I was like, damn. Kind of crappy, you know? So, this episode, I was very excited that we got put back on the main plot. But I was disappointed on how it happened. Those are my real feelings. I can't hide them from you. Those are it. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to cut it there so I don't go too much over crazy on time. 
But let me know all your guys' thoughts about Rocarium, Amateo, Explorers, Freed, all this stuff in the comments below. And I'll see you next week as we get back to Orange Academy. All right, my friends. Peace out, trainers.